Alright, time for a Fiddlesticks game. Now, Fiddlesticks got some massive buffs this patch, and you might be wondering what buffs? Well, they buffed the Ingenious Hunter rune. Or whatever, how you pronounce it. Yeah, that one. Um, which on Fiddlesticks is actually insane, because Fiddlesticks has three active items in its main build. So... You know, all that extra item haste? Previously, you used to run Ultimate Hunter on Fiddlesticks, however... It was, like, okay at that point to go for Ingenious Hunter. That has changed because now it's actually really, really good because of the 15 extra item haste they gave it this patch. So now all your item cooldowns will just be super low, which on Fiddle 6 is amazing. It gives you more Predator uses, gives you more Zonias, more Rocket Belts, everything. Uh, the elo of this game, by the way, is, like, mid-diamond. We're talking, like, Diamond 3 is region. Uh, the reason he's uh, the Lux is saying this is because uh, of a decayed accounts, so we're basically like averaging out. This account has decayed from Diamond One, for example. Auto attack, and then we auto attack this one as well. I think this is the perfect space. Yep. Nope, it's not. I need to inch down a little bit. There we go. Better. Always look at your aggro bars. Never cancel your drain either. That's a very big mistake to make. I'm smiting this early, by the way, because I don't think I'm going to get invaded, but also your W does more missing HP damage. So your W does more, the lower it is. So before the, the drain finishes, you want to try to uh, get that done. We're double camping as many camps here as possible, essentially. Leaving Krugs up for this rotation, but that's okay. Just do the strat for this side as well. I messed it up. All right. I should be okay. The wolves will be back here. Where am I standing wrong? I'm standing- I stood like one, like half a millimeter too far south. Okay, cool. Not a big deal. Overalls will still save me time doing it this way. But yeah, the positioning for this is very precise and I just missed it by like a little bit here just now. Okay. Like this path, I'm gonna play for the scuttle anyway. I'll take another point in Q for that reason. I'm not hitting 4 before I'm ganking bot lane most likely. So just doing this now is just better for me. She just warded bot river. I think E will probably just be clearing towards top. I'm just going to move towards bot now. I know this is warded, but I think I should be able to just get this gank off still. I could also just play for scuttle. I'll just wait for scuttle. I'm just going to play for Scuttle and then loop around to try, I think. Auto attacking this. Put the ward down. I have two charges on it. I'm just going to loop the bolt line with, uh, like, all the way around. She's going to ward down here now. I feel like this should be okay. Is there... Are they... Nah, it's too safe. We have, I have no engage support. I have a Lulu there, so it's not going to happen. She warded pretty well time-wise. I could have walked around, but it would have cost me a lot of time. Could still potentially... Oh, nope. There's another ward. Great. It's just... I've just been walled off, essentially. Her ward should have disappeared by now, though, right, Shirley? I'll be wasting too much time if I go for this and it fails again. I think her ward should be gone by now. Uh, this is not happening. That hit me? Okay. Oh, this is bad. That's a TP. And the Zoe roamed as well. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just based, man. I got greedy. I got very greedy there. My bad. I'll sell the potion just to get this quickly. And we'll move back onto the map. I could have waited for a little bit of gold out of 27, but I don't really care about the potion anyway. You could also just start, like, with the uh, draw ward. Mm. Yeah, getting the gank off... Like, trying to get the gank on Boltlin there was just way too greedy on my end, and I shouldn't have attempted that. I should have just left it for what it was. 
came back later with Predator to make the gank very easy. If I hadn't like a Nautilus support, like me trying like that, for example, would have not been as bad. But because it's Lulu's support and she basically does nothing to help you with a gank, uh, it, it wasn't going to happen and I should have realized that faster. Lux just hit 6. I need to finish my camps here, otherwise I'd be falling too far behind and that's not something I'm looking for. Uh, I cannot contest top scuttle here. My mid laner is just too far behind in prio, basically. Also, my top laner just recalled on both sides of the map. It's not going to happen. Ideally, I just want to get a gank off on bot lane. Good control ward. I could make use of that, hopefully. Finish this camp first, hit 6. Try to get in here with the plant and then maybe get the gank on Nami. Are you actually joking? Shen ulted as well. But the Shen, I was wondering how she survived that, but Shen ult makes all the sense. That explains everything. Yi is top lane. I'm gonna run here. Please be careful. Let me... Okay, got him. Got the move speed for it. It's all good. I see. Alright then. I have to trade red buffs. Put some vision down. I'll be hitting six here soon, which I may be able to make use of. There's no way I can get there in time, I bought my guy. Okay, good kill. And he killed Monster Yi on a dive. That is very solid stuff. I'm not dead here. Oh, that's a good flash. I did waste my smite there, though. My sphere wasn't up, unfortunately, but... Hopefully we can get this. This might be a risky dragon call. But I don't think it should be. Okay, good. Solid, solid. Uh, that bot lane gank flank worked out there. Very solid stuff. Ooh, bot scuttle is spawning. I don't think I can actually get this bot scuttle. I really can get this bot scuttle because my bot lane just based. I would imagine that Malshi tries to contest me on that one. So I don't think I should go for it. If he doesn't show up for it after I clear these two camps, I might be able to go for it still. It doesn't look like he is going to. Okay, that's fine, then I'll go for it. I'm just pinging where I think he might be. Make sure I keep clear the scuttle rule right now. Ooh. I might be able to kill her here. Mm, it's too risky to walk through turret because I would walk into a monster Yi there. That would not be worth it. Leave this behind here. Can ult it. We'll just leave. Shen flash ult down. That's actually kind of annoying. Shen ult's like helping him a lot there. I 
I don't think I'm gonna get this off. I think they saw me. Like they have to have seen me there. I'm just gonna back. Okay, that is just a grief. That is a very annoying that I actually got that. Jin should have been standing next to the minions the entire time. I might still be able to cheese this ult. Yeah, he's just dead. Okay. I'm, I still cheesed it. Draven got a little greedy. He should have walked back under the turret, but I don't think he had vision on me there at any point here. So I was able to make it happen. Barely. Alright, we go for Rocket Belt now. Get this. And then I'll get this with a Dark Seal, I guess. Would not be too bad. Potentially going for the Magis here. I'm not sure about that yet, but just building a Dark Seal in of itself is not too bad. And Mossy definitely took my entire top side here, so there's nothing I should really be playing for there. Shen has no flesh. I can definitely get the gank on him with a Predator. I don't have ult, but I don't need ult, I don't think. As long as I have Predator, I should be good. I think I should be warding this. Yep, he just did it. Damn it. Ah, I see. Hit the ward. Damn it. There's a Nami here. Oh, didn't go for it. Yeah, I've been counter jungled. Bob Skull is never going to be mine. I can definitely like look for Bolt here potentially. I want to get the level up before I move, so I do one camp here. I have also one spare smite to use right now. I just need to get in predator range basically and Draven's dead. He might already be dead. He's already dead. Calm Invade is a red buff. I think Yi is gonna be here soon. I don't know if this is warded because I don't have a way to check right now. He actually killed Zoe, that's pretty good. I don't know if this is too risky. I think I could do this. I'm assuming Yi's not gonna be here for this. I misjudged that by like a little bit of damage. Yi is in fact mid lane. I'm just gonna run mid because he's gonna use Herald here. He's gonna auto attack through it, I might be able to kill him. He didn't commit to auto-attacking turret there, unfortunately. If he would've, I would've been able to kill him, but he actually walked away like a smart man. I don't know if he had vision on me there in that situation, but otherwise, like, being able to, like, fear him from across the wall, that would've been very good. I don't think Dragon is the move right now. I took his red, which is good. I need to be looking for like another gank here. The Shen has been saving quite a lot of situations for the enemy bot lane. Unfortunately. I still am doing reasonably well at putting the Draven in a bad spot, but... Yeah. All my camps are up. There's no reason for me to back right now. If I don't have to worry about mana because I'll be killing my blue somewhat soon. So I should be restoring all my mana at that point. Um... Good kill from Lux there. I got you. Don't worry about it. Oh, he, he, uh, if he kept, he kept walking forward there, he would have insta-died. Because then I would have been able to fear him. Do I actually have to go bolt here? He's going to go for mid turret, isn't he? He's not. Interesting. I'll fear it for the thing. It's a long cooldown, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna double camp here, I think. I'm gonna have to run bolt as fast as I possibly can. Predator. Silence. Juke that one. Just need to be able to press my fear on him. There we go. Good. Solid kill. Okay. Double camp this. 
We can play for Dragon like afterwards potentially. Raven players always go aggressive there. Maybe I sh like if I didn't fear the minion in mid, that would have probably been a little bit better for me. But overall, I, my fear came up in time when I actually needed it, so it's not too bad. Should be able to do dragon here. This dragon's really nice uh, for fiddle, extra ult CDR. This smite's gonna be up in four seconds. If the Jin was like 2 HP, I understand why he backed, but otherwise he shouldn't have backed until Dragon, like until he helped with like Dragon. But if he was low HP, like I didn't look at his HP bar, then it's whatever. I have 2000 gold, so I'm quickly just gonna purchase myself a nice Hextech Rocket Belt. And I'm gonna get a stopwatch with this as well. You can see the, uh, like, like the active items here already predator rocket belt zonias essentially mm, i think this turret's just dead but maybe not mostly is definitely like lingering around somewhere on bolt i think i can easily kill the draven here i think the mostly is gonna be here soon which is what i'm expecting does she know the wall must he actually leave? Must he really is not playing to gank anything. He just literally doesn't care. Very interesting. Honestly, very surprised by that. I might be wasting time here, but I like with a turret down, surely somebody's going to come down here, right? Okay, I just killed Draven again, I suppose. Okay, Gangplank's definitely dead there. Wait. Good flash. Chen flash. Hmm. Is he alive? What a man. That's a very, very big move there from him. Super good. He's doing Rift Herald. I see. Good dodges. Ah, Rift Herald's just dead. There's nothing I can do about that. I need to stop playing towards Draven here. I've won bot lane well enough already. It should be fine. Right now, I'm just gonna have to look for the other guys. So, like, a kill on Shen would be pretty nice here. If possible. I mean, they're, the bot and mid are very far behind. Musty is kind of just, like, AFK farming it up, honestly. She's gonna go for this, I'm down. I don't know if that's going to be good for me. No, it didn't happen. Wait, what? This he literally does not want to look for anything. Okay. My fear is ready. We can do this. He just went over the wall and just... Okay. <laughs> Sure. I'm level 11, which is big. My dub, my predator will be back up soon as well. Might be able to look for something. This Yi is playing like super heavy to farm instead of looking for like he doesn't look for any ganks essentially. Ooh, that probably. Ooh, actually, never mind. I didn't know that worked that way. I thought the um, GP ult would only or the, the, not the ult, the W would only remove his or like the fear afterwards i guess i misjudged that it just removes the stack on it already it's very interesting i could go in on this potentially sure i'm just standing here to put pressure down because uh, right there, if I just... Okay, there's a ward here. If I just stand there, they cannot, like, move up. They have to respect me over the wall. I'm sketched out. Yep. I can't fight him. It's literally impossible for me, for me to fight him in that situation. I have to just give Scuttle. It's okay. It's also not worth it because I'm worth so much gold. So me dying there would be worse. 
This man is literally just AFK farming. I like kind of confused. It's kind of like he is Master Yi, so if he does get like enough items, it will work out for him eventually. But as it stands right now, I don't know about this. Play for the next dragon. Come down, please. Are they gonna Baron? No way, they Baron. Surely not that. Okay. We placed the ward on it, which is very good. Can I just get in range, please? Thank you. Nice. And we finish dragon here. Easy catch there with the rocket belt. Speed up. I mean easy. He was kind of max ranging it, but still. It's okay. I'm gonna quickly just put this over the wall for some vision. Nice. Good. Got the dragon. Got my Zonias. I could go Magi's here. I think I'm actually gonna just opt for Magi's right now. I think I'm okay. And then we'll purchase this with it. Use my Futures Market there. Most likely situation for him to be his top side right now, I would imagine. So I'm just gonna ping my gangplank to be a little bit careful. I've got three dragons here. I've gotten like very, very good ganks off on bot lane. I still need to get multiple kills. I killed Jizoe and Draven and... I saved them there with the fear. Also you just flash though, which is good. My kill diversity isn't very high, but it's not a big deal. I don't think I'm gonna bother with bot lane, to be honest. I just... Could. I wanna go for top scuttle. Ye playing for bot lane doesn't really do anything for him. Right now, what I want to look for is just his stuff. Like, if I can take his camps, that would be very helpful. It's down. Okay. I need assistance. Hear him. Keep walking back, and we ult over. I think I'm dead here, though, but this will all be okay in the... In the end, I survived! Stopwatch coming in very clutch there. I'll smite this, I have another smite for Baron, it's fine. That's a very good one, that was very close. I flashed away to dodge the uh, Nami ultimate and then instantly fear the Masi as he gets out of me. So he starts running away from me for a while. That was nothing. I can easily sustain this with just draining, so there's no problem here. The Lulu ult was also very clutch for the extra HP, but the stopwatch there is big. I should be able to have Zonias here, yep. Alright, so Zonias normally has 120 uh, CDR on the active, and you just pay attention when I use it, how much that actually goes down to. I don't know the exact number right now, but it goes down by a lot. There you go. Oh, I want to hit level 14 ideally. Damn it. <laughs> You're serious. The reason I want to look for the level up, by the way, is because a level up is worth a lot of stats. That hurts. Damn it. So if you're like making like looking for a next play, like having the level up is worth quite a lot. Good kill. I'm a little bit scared. I have to be very okay. Open Predator. He already died, okay. Good. Good setup. I have some decent vision here. I could like ult over some walls if it comes down to it. I don't want to necessarily all be auto-attacking turrets. You want to be more off on the side trying to get a nice ultimate off in like flank situations. That's more ideal for Fiddlesticks. So like standing right here, for example, if a fight would happen, you could ult over the wall. 
instead of like being here to auto attack turret because that would put put you in a very compromisable position and it would not be good for you generally speaking Again, just gonna wait. He oh, this guy is inting. That's that's way too deep. He should have just auto attacked turret. Interesting. He just play for Drake Soul. I could wait here potentially. I'm hoping Predator kill Draven here. To be honest. There's nothing you can do, to, really. Yep. No, no more Magi stacks. Oh! I'm gonna have to zone us this. Predator's up in 20 seconds. I'm just gonna fear him right away. Silence him as well. Dead. Good. The fear lockdown on Yi, there's nothing you can do. He needs to buy QSS, which he's not doing. That's a mistake. Because my fear is literally click on. There's no way for him to dodge it. So, yeah. Not good for him. I didn't even get to smite that. The Jin just crit that to death. Oh, great. Oh, I'll take it. Looking good Magi stack-wise. Now, from here on out, my final items. I'd probably, against this team, also consider a Banshee's and just go Banshee's Void Staff. But I can also just go Void Staff Death Cap for more damage. The reason I'm considering Banshees is because like a like a taunt hit or something could mess me up, but mainly that bubble. If I get hit by that bubble like I just did, I just get instantly killed. Which is very sketchy, but yeah. He's magic resist heavy. 23 gold, I have to wait. It's worth getting the like waiting for this jewel because it's 15% magic penetration. A fiddlestick has a lot of damage, like base damage already. So, Magic Penetration is a very vi uh, a valuable stat, and also, like, the, um, yeah, Magic Penetration here, and then Scaling Magic Penetration, because you just have so much base damage, you're just gonna shred through everything, as long as you get through the Magic Resist. Void Staff, by the way, also is um, less necessary if you are the only AP on your team. Generally speaking, they will not build that much AP or Magic Resist against you, so then Void Staff also becomes a little bit less necessary. I'm making sure that I push in mid wave here as well, so we actually have mid pressure whilst we have top pressure. Oh. We have a Yi here. Come on then, bring it. Right, Yi just flashed out and channeled it, that's not too bad. That's actually very nice. I don't know where Yi's going, to be honest, but it's fine. Oh, we'd like to get push a turret. Hmm. I'm really looking for like a nice ult flank situation. She's just hitting them blind? Interesting. He's dead here, that's too much damage. Okay. I'm just gonna have to wait in this situation for like Yi to go in. I cannot use my fear unless Yi goes in, because I am gonna be the one that has to CC him. So if I use my Q on anything but Yi, this would end badly for us and he could get like a nice like he could get like an absolute pentakill or something. It is possible. I'm not gonna disrespect it. My team can just finish off the rest. I'm just gonna be like protective duty here for my Jin. It looks like G uh, the Yi might have given up as well, but still. I'm just gonna like here. Very solid. It's like a cooldowns are very low. <laughs> it's like half the cooldown on Zonias essentially, which is big. All right. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below. Helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.